Hello and welcome to my video today of the Chaos Knights War Dogs. Got these a little while ago and uh, I thought today I'd open these up and uh, take a look inside and uh, we can see what sort of bits of plastic we get and what sort of models you can build. So without further ado, let's open these up and take a look. Right, so, picture on the back, quite nice, shows different versions, variants of it. So you've got different assembly options, you've got a war dog up the top there, another version of it there, and then a standard one down the bottom there. So, let's have a look inside here. These were quite hard to get hold of at one point, and uh, I was lucky to get a copy of these at the time, which now you can get all over the place, so... Let's open these up and take a look at these and see what they look like inside. This is going to go with my Chaos Army, um, which I'm building. Uh, Knights, obviously, which go with the Chain Lance Battle Box from last year, which I still haven't started yet. So it's quite a big box. Um, let's have a look. Let's see what we get. So inside, obviously, you get the instructions, which is right there. We'll have a look at those in a minute. Transfer sheet which is quite nice, different ones on there, different factions and bits and pieces of the Chaos Symbols. We get two bases, must be 50 to 80s. Let's have a look at what short size these are. Uh, doesn't tell you what size the bases are, I reckon they're 80s. Uh, yeah, we'll go, with, we'll go with 80s, but if you know any different, let me know. Two of those, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six sprues. Obviously, these are the standard sprues which you get on the normal Imperial Knights, but these ones have got the Chaos symbols on top, which is actually quite nice. It's the top side, these are both the same, but you get nice Chaos symbols there on top, which is really, really nice. And then you get all the other bits, obviously, the smokestacks there. Some pointed bits there. Obviously the nice detail in there, which is going to be done on either side on that one. And you get spikes and bits. You get two of those. You then get two of those, which are the same, and two of those. So they're all the same. These are all the same. So you get two of these. This one's a little bit different. So on this one, you get the curl symbols on the side again, which is quite nice on both of those. Get two heads there, which you could, if I did last time, if I just show you, you can actually magnetize that side and add them on together. So you have both versions, which looks quite cool. Uh, I've got some other little spiky bits here, I'm not sure what these are. Chain gum there, which is quite nice. So I'm getting to focus. And then you've got the old war dog heads, which is quite nice there. Lots and lots of detail on that one. And there, try and get the focus. Come on, there we go. Ah, days with the cameras, eh? Let's move that one out of the way a minute, Let's see if that helps. There we go. So, there's your detail there, as you can see. That's really, really cool. Both sides there. You've got another interesting head there on that one. And that's mainly all the detail, and then you've got some more spiky bits. Other bits and pieces, looks quite cool. And that one. And you get two of this one as well. And this one you've got more weapons and body parts. And legs. So you've got the legs there, obviously. A bit more of the body. Another weapon must be the flamer. Chainsaw. Other, you know, curlsy bits, spikes. Yeah, it looks nice. Got us, I'm looking forward to building these. So they're the bits of plastic you get in this one. So we put those to one side. And then you get the instructions here. So on here obviously you get the three different versions. So you get the carnivore, the brigade, and the stalker. Um, all with different weapons, which I'm gonna magnetize. So you can do all versions then. And then you get two different poses for the feet, which is the same as the Imperial, the other ones you get, the other knights. 
and you get obviously how you put them together there all different versions variants and then you've got the weapons and what pages to look at for those I've got to say the stalker one looks quite good i'll probably go for the stalker and the brigade i don't think about like that one with the chainsaw the chainsaws don't really look good in my opinion on these and then you've got those there you can always magnetize and make a move like it's showing but you can always change them around the other versions bits to glue not to glue on that one then you've got the hands what they look like and then you've got then you have the finished article and you put them together and how they should look and then you've got all the spiky bits you can add and get a bit more chaos -y. and then on the back you get obviously the uh, the way it can all be used the abilities on there just to show you and that is everything that comes in the war dogs so i hope you like and subscribe